All right, so today we're venturing into another level of the zodiac. The, um, we've done, we've done, we've done sort of category. It's like we're adding another category or two. It's just, we did the daylight and greater, did the daylight increasing. We got the, the daylight is greater, um, daylight is greater, darkness is greater, daylight increasing, night increasing. We have the, um, seasons. We have masculine, feminine, cardinal, fixed, mutable. We have the fire, water, earth. We have the rulership. We have all the basic categories. Then we added the eight phases to the zodiac and how the eight phases related to the eightfold path and, and to the eight trigrams of the chain. And, um, Yeah, so now I'll just start this. You see, you know, if you, if you know ten, five, five people that are Aries, five signs that are Aries, why are they so different from each other? How come they seem so different? And up to now, we'd say, well, it's the moon sign. They got a moon sign, they got planets, other things. And that's true, that's all valid. But even if you just look at the sun sign without like at a moon sign, there's a way of seeing how each category works and seeing each one, but we're going into a place where there's a subdivision within the zodiac where you can see the, um, I call them pentans. It's not a very well known term because people usually use decans or twads, but we, I use pentans. It's, it, it's, it was used in ancient Egypt where they had divided the sky into 30, the night sky into 36 divisions, but it wasn't written, but they also had 36 divisions for the day sky. And so it was, a, it was a pentan system dividing the zodiac. And um, here we have a little more simpler way of coming at it. So this is a, a map of the pentans. And what happens is, you know, we have the daylight is greater and nighttime is greater halves of the year. So spring and summer and the daylight is greater, fall and winter, the darkness is greater. Well, in the zodiac, we have masculine and feminine signs. So if we take two signs, the masculine sign would be like the spring and summer and the feminine sign would be like the fall and winter. So the whole zodiac can repeat itself across 60 degrees across two signs. And when it does so, the edges of the signs, the beginning of each sign is the equinoxes, spring equinox, fall equinox, spring equinox, fall, like that. And the 15 degrees of each sign, 15 degrees of a masculine sign would be the winter, that would be like the summer solstice point. And the 15 degrees of a feminine sign would be like the winter solstice point. So it's very simple. So that's the system. This is what it looks like with the color with it going around. And um, we're going to spend the day the, the, the day, the night on this. And okay, I'll come to it just a bit more now. I think we'll talk just a little bit more, but you'll see that the zodiac here is just represented by the 12 colors, the masculine and the masculine sign. The So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo are in the masculine signs, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Sag Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces are the feminine signs. But when this, when we align this at the zodiac like this, the equinox is being the division between the signs, the solstice is being the 15 degrees, each sign there's a each sub sign or pentan is a five degree each five degrees of a sign is a second has an inner theme of a sign so um this is what we're working on so if you have five aries you know five people are aries and they see so different even when looking at the moon sign you can begin to see how come they're different because there's that theme within the theme each aries has a specific each five degrees of aries has a specific uniqueness that's distinct from the other four from the other five and the nice thing of this system, it's easy to remember, but we'll come to it. Um, the, 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 so the feminine signs have the Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces in them. And this cycle, because it goes two signs, it repeats itself, masculine, feminine, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So it repeats itself six times around the zodiac. So we have our basic zodiac, and we have this inner zodiac, that, that repeats six times in it, it, as it goes around. And um, this is fun. This is, these are seeable, you notice them. It just opens up a whole nother level of astrology. At the beginning, it's too much.
it's enough to just get the basic categories and know it. Now we're getting ready to go into deeper deeper and slower movements and longer and periods of time where these things become very, it's like you get a 30, 30 degree cycle, but you have, like imagine a 30 year cycle, but you have five year plans inside of it. So if we just put on a straight chart, this is what it would look like. You have each sign and it's divided in the six sign in the six 30 degrees six groupings of five so you see aries 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 taurus gemini cancer leo virgo or as you go around the circle libra scorpio Sash, it puts it around the circle so all of these drawings i put them here so that if you if you need to you can always take a screenshot and have a copy, hard copy of it so you can have something to work with with it um but it's basically at five de every five degrees of a sign is going to be so if it's a masculine sign, it's going to be spring or spring or summer. If it's a wind, spring or summer. If it's a wind, a fall. If it's a feminine sign, it's going to be fall or winter. And they just go in order. Five, five, first five degrees of Taurus, Taurus Libra, then Scorpio, five to ten, Sag, ten to fifteen, Solstice, Capricorn, fifteen to twenty, twenty, twenty-five Aquarius, twenty-five to thirty, Spices. Okay, so we'll just come look at. It. So this was the. This was my original drawing of it. And then it just, how you have the spring and summer fitting into the masculine and feminine. So this was the original, seeing the seeing the wave pattern and the cycle move around. So the zodiac mm -hmm. is represented by the turtle, the head of the Aries, the tail of Libra, the fixed signs of the feet. And the turtle carries the mystery of the universe on its back. So, um, it basically accentuates the equinoxes between each sign and the solstices, the masculine and the feminine, or the light and the dark solstices in the masculine and feminine signs. This is our basic core division going into this, into going, like when we saw masculine and feminine, we saw projective or reflective when we interpreted masculine and feminine in the, in the, in the signs and when we do it with the planets and the signs. So that masculine and feminine now has another has categories can be divided into spring, summer, fall, winter into into the second level into the second level of the zodiac. <clears throat> so this is um, exact on the screen here. Yeah. So here it is with the so with, with the cycles. And with the signs, in the, like it doesn't just show us the masculine and feminine, the, the solstices, but it shows you each sign as it's going through each of the, each sub sign, each pentad as it's going through the sign of the zodiac. So it goes through Aries, Aries Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and it switches to Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Cap. I put daylight is greater, nighttime is greater. So you have the light and the gray shades on it to see this pattern. It's not just into this really logical deduction and taking this next level and, and adding another dimension to the signs or understand them masculine and feminine better. And so if I just cut it in, yeah, the whole thing colored in like this, there's the signs going through, going around like a rainbow. So, uh, like, really, the colors express the meanings, you know. So, like, here you can see the colors of each one. So, really, if we go one step further, we get the we put the color of the signs in with it. So here you see the um, if you look at Aries, you see there's the first five degrees of Aries, same color. Then there's a red, red, orange for Taurus, and there's a the red of Aries with the orange for Gemini, the red of Aries for the Cancer the amber of Cancer, the red of Aries to the yellow of Leo, and the red of Aries to the yellow green of Virgo. So is this really so? If that's so, then the 20 to 25 degrees, the Leo part of Aries is going to be much more showy, and so the Aries of Aries is going to be much more fiery. Those are going to be too fiery, and the Virgo is going to be a picky side of, Virgo, of Aries. It's going to bring these qualities in within the, within the a theme within the theme. 
but they'll notice it's simple association. You just remember you're in Aries, and this Aries is going to be a little bit more of the second sign. Not that much different from looking at sun and moon and seeing the two different signs, but here we're just seeing the sign, the zodiac, and, and in the next wave inside of this. So we're going to go be going around all of this and, and work through it, but um, you really have to think your degree of the zodiac. And from your degree of the zodiac, then you see, you can do it for every planet. We're just going to talk about the sun right now, but you can do it for the moon, you do it for Mercury. Every planet's in a sign, and each sign has this pentan within it. My sign, my sign is at 23, 23 and 18 of, of Libra, and it's in the Leo, it's in between 20 and 25 of Libra, and it's masculine sign, it's in the Leo side. So I'm a Libra, but I'm, I like to teach, I like to show, I like to show what I'm doing. I have a performance side or perhaps an arrogant side to me where I've got to get things out and want it to be seen and known. You know, it's a Venus rule, so I always try to do the nicest colors or the colored charts or they, they, that makes the sense to see it visually. And I use these to teach with. So that's, it's that simple, but that's different than the other Libras. We start comparing to people. So this is uh, very useful. So the colors are expressing it. What you know about the signs is the interpretation of the meaning of the colors. Each of the categories are all the different layers of understanding of each color. We use words because we're used to thinking in English or thinking in, in word languages to, to explain this. But this is just showing the influences. So, OK, let me just start looking with Aries. So this I've just taken one curve one cycle. And here's the zodiac repeating itself between Aries and Taurus. So it's a, so I'm just repeating zero degrees to five degrees. To, each masculine sign is dependent of Aries. Five to 10 of each masculine sign is dependent of Taurus. 10 to 15 of each masculine sign has dependent of Gemini. So are the Aries with between five and 10 degrees of Aries going to be a little more determined and to, have a Taurian stubbornness to them? or determining or tenacity to them. 15 to 20 degrees of each masculine, of each masculine sign, not just Aries, it's Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sag, and Aquarius. Um, 15 to 20 is the, has the pentan of Cancer, 20 to 25 of each masculine sign has the pentan of Leo, and 25 to 30 degrees has the pentan of Virgo. So, and then then, the, then we have the, I will explain the others on the next, I will the next drawing, but I want to just, Take an example, we'll put this a little bit to the test to show you how this works. Here's a list about um, everybody, team Aries. Okay. Elvis Stoico, Aretha Franklin, Gloria Steinem, the feminist leader, Diana Ross uh, with the Supremes, Sarah, Sarah Vaughan, the singer, Vincent Van Gogh, the painter, Hans Christian Anderson, Marlon Brando. Washington, Washington Irving, Richard Alpert, psychologist and LSD experimenter, and me became the guru, Bob Ramdas, Harry Houdini, Hugh Hefner, Catherine Manson, of course, Hugh Hefner, he would be in the Aries, it, like just right there, does it make sense? Catherine Mansfield, Thomas Jefferson, Gary Kasparov, the chess champion, Margot Adler, Wiccan Priestess, Wilbur Wright, who invented the Airplane and Charlie Chaplin. All different areas, all very seemingly different from each other. But we know they're all going to have that Aries theme within them. 